what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson 4 here bring you guys a black ops 1 gameplay hopefully you guys enjoy it because we all know how call of duty advanced warfare will be halo is titanfall is has kill zone is you know kind of style plasma grenades double jumping what the fuck is this bullshit so it was completely necessary guys if it was ground troops like we usually have i would have actually bought the game even though i hated it just like holiday ghost even though i hated the game I will still buy it because everything's still on the ground. None of this double jumping bullshit. If I wanted a futuristic game like that, I will go to Halo 5. Seriously, I will buy the Xbox One for Halo 5. I'm not lying to you guys. So I'm making this promise, actually since a long time ago, I made a promise uh, in, the, in the few videos ago, that I promise I will not buy this game to show it here. That, that game will not be shown here at all. It will not touch my channel. It will not touch my channel. I'd rather show Destiny. So anyways, moving on to the main topic, guys. Black Ops 1 versus Call of Duty Ghosts. Which one's better? Which one had the most playable maps? Which one had the better players? And everything. First, we're going to start off with the players. Now, this one is an obvious one. Call of Duty Ghosts players usually camp. That's what pretty much brings the fun tone down. It really does. Why do Call of Duty Ghosts players camp? There's no spike plane. And pretty much all you can do is wait for somebody to come at you since everybody has Amplify. And if you have Amplify, you pretty much have a good has, good ass headset. Like a freaking $80 headset then. <laughs> That's what pretty much Call of Duty Ghost is made of. People just waiting in corners. Some maps have multiple paths, but we don't even know what they are. And we have to run over there to get them. They have Amplify, they're waiting in the corner, and bam, they're dead. You're fucking dead. So Call of Duty Ghost players are campers. That's what they are. That's how I see Call of Duty Ghost. Don't say no. Most of you guys do it. Most of the Call of Duty Ghost players do it. While the Black Ops 1 players, oh man, Black Ops 1, where the rushers are made. Seriously, the weapons here are all playable. That's what made Black Ops 1 rushers. Everybody knows how to rush. Everybody moved around. That's another thing. Circle that world. That, that word, I mean. Everybody knows how to move around. Everybody's moving around. That's why I enjoy Black Ops 1. I moved around. They moved around. Damn, we got ourselves a game. That's what made almost every single game fascinating. Awesome to play in. Filled with action. That's why Black Ops 1 was fucking badass. Everybody's moving around. Call of Duty goes, oh, let me wait here to get a few kills in. Kill streak. Gun turrets. Everywhere. Oh, that seems fun. Right? That seems pretty fun, right? Tell me in the comment section if it's fun to get killed by a camper. Most of the time in, in Call of Duty goes... Anyways, moving on to the next category, uh, weapons, weapon balancing. How did it feel in Call of Duty Ghosts? It felt like I was shooting a fucking BB gun. Seriously, those things don't even make any, any fucking damage. Even without the silencer, that things don't make damage. So, in Black Ops 1, it can name several weapons. Commando, Famas, Galil, Enfield. Even the fucking Enfield, the first weapon that you unlock is playable. The AK-74U, MP5K, even though that thing was weak, it was still usable. More usable than the bullshit we have in Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost, name a few weapons. Uh, Vector, CRB, uh, M Remington, ARX. Oh, that sounds cool. With the command over here, which is an all-around weapon. Famas, the best rapid-fire assault rifle that we have here in Black Ops 1. Galil, best overall weapon also. Shit. Black Ops 1 weapons were all playable compared to Call of Duty Ghosts since they were all toned down like a fucking BB gun. So, Black Ops 1 takes the lead again. 2-0. to 2-0. No. No. Let's talk about the maps. Alright, the Black Ops 1 maps, which one was non-playable? Name, name one, guys. Name a map that is not playable in this fucking game. I don't think I can name one. I seriously can't. All of them were playable, guys. That's what y'all gotta understand. All of them were playable. You can do anything you want in any single one of these maps, and you'll still come out positive. If you're kind of an alright player. Even an alright player can do good in all these maps. Because it has the right paths, has the right movement, has the right, you know, rhythm in these maps. That's what I like about Black Ops 1. Call of Duty Ghost, damn. Name me a map that's better than any in Black Ops 1. You can't. Oh, uh, Strike Zone? Oh, that's cool, bro. Wasn't that released again in DLC? Oh, it got released again in DLC, guys. Look, look over here. Got ourselves a kid saying that 
Strike Zone is better than all the maps in, in Black Ops 1. Alright. Didn't Black Ops 1 come up with Nuketown in the first place? Black Ops 1 maps. Shits on Call of Duty Ghost maps. 3 and 0. Black Ops 1 takes the lead yet again. 3 and 0. So far, Call of Duty Ghost hasn't been any better. Really hasn't. So we already talked about the maps, weapon balancing, and the players itself. What's next? The kill streaks? Maybe Call of Duty Ghost takes it. Maybe. With the Loki and with the gunship they have in that game. What do we have here in Black Ops 1? The Palm Air Strike. God damn, that thing was fun to use. You can make your own border of fire. And if your friends are calling in the Palm Air Strikes, you can pretty much create a, a Hellfire or something, you know, because that would be insane. Call in five the Palm Air Strikes, and then you'll see a lot of fire going in. Um, what else? The chopper gun was fun to use. The gunship was weak. It was still in its starting process, but it was a good idea, so I don't give the gunship any credit in this one. So maybe Call of Duty Ghost takes the lead on, uh, you know, kill streaks, and that's it. Anyways, Black Ops 1 beats up Call of Duty Ghost 3 to 1.